Happy Monday, everybody. Donnie Baker here with you, LPR Sound Foundation. Welcome into the studio, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a kind of a controversial kind of thing, and nobody really talks about it because it pisses people off. I'm going to talk to you about the difference between working a job at employment or being a freelance audio engineer, an entrepreneur, if you will, that thing. And look, it, 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 there's two sides, man. And everybody yells at everybody else and gets mad at everybody. But look, you do you. And that's, that's all. I'm going to start off with saying if, if, if you're more comfortable having a job, please have the job. I am not more comfortable having the job. I'm way more comfortable being, being me and doing me and, and working for me. So I've got a publication for you today. I'm going to go straight up and tell you, you can download this. And it's just some information that gives you the, the co- pros and cons of employment versus freelance. You can go grab that man, learnprorecording.com forward slash 209. Because today is our episode 209. Well, <laughs> there you go. I got all creative with the name of this thing, and, you know, we just named it 209, so there you go. So, look, today I'm just going to talk to you. I've got no slideshow, i got no pictures, i got nothing. I'm just going to talk to you like uh, like you want to be talked to. Like, uh, this is what we do, okay? So, listen, again, I'm not trying to make anybody mad. I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad about having a job or not having a job or being freelance or not being freelance or working for someone else or working for yourself. No, that's not my intention. I, my, my intention today is to possibly get you to come over to my side and, and, and be a freelance worker. Um, look, everybody, if, if you need the structure, if you need the, you know, some people might need the structure. Some might need the, the, somebody might need somebody telling them what to do, what time to go there, what, you know, what, how to dress, where to go, what time you can eat. They, somebody might need that. That is definitely not me. I do not want that. I don't want any part of it. That is, uh, that's why I am an entrepreneur. I own my own business. I have owned my own business for 40 years. I mean, damn, uh, it's been a minute. Even when I, now there was a time when I did have a regular job. And for those of you that know my story and know where I come from and how I got here to where I am today, you know my story. You know that I spent some time at a regular job. So when my wife got pregnant with our son, I decided, oh, crap, I'm going to be a dad. I got to have a job. I I thought my my mind went directly to where you think it should go. You got to be responsible. You got to have a job. You got to have health insurance. You got to have this. You got to have that. You got to have the stability of a paycheck every Friday. That's where my mind went because this is what is ingrained in our brains from the moment, actually the moment of conception. It's automatically already started. Our schedules have already started. On this day, we're going to do this thing. And at this moment, we're going to do this thing. At 3 o'clock, we're going to have a nap. At 4 o'clock, we're going to change the diaper. And at 6 o'clock, we're going to have some supper. And then we're going to wake up and we're going to do it all over again. Then you go to school. And then you start school. And then at 8 o'clock, you got to be at school. At 11 o'clock, you get to go to recess. At 12 o'clock, you get to eat lunch. At 3.30, you go home. At 3.35, you're having a snack. Every day, 3.35, that's snack time. You know... From the moment, I mean, you don't even know, you you can't even tie your shoes, but you know at 3.35, that's a snack time. So that's what I'm saying. We're indoctrined into understanding a schedule, like straight up. So we're being groomed, if you will. I know that's a that's a tough word to hear in, in, in this today, but we're being groomed to get a job from the moment we start doing anything. We, we, from the moment we're born, the moment we're conceived, we're, we're, we're already starting to have that schedule. So we know that we have the schedule and we're going to go get the job. We're going to conform like everybody else does. So I thought the same thing. I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to be, uh, I, I, I got to be more responsible. I got to have a steady paycheck. Got to have health insurance. Got to have 401k. Got to have two weeks off vacation in the summer to go to the Gulf of Mexico and, and look at seashells. Whatever. This is what I'm saying. And it's, oh my gosh, I was so, I was, I, I mean, look, the job wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was basically, it was kind of still in the music sound industry, if you will. I was installing commercial sound systems in 
places like malls and restaurants and banks and dentist offices and drive through systems for for fast food restaurants it was horrible it was terrible somebody save me it was it was i mean look I, you know the money wasn't bad the the you know the hours weren't bad but man it was a construction job i mean let's be honest i was i'd come home every day dirty and tired and smelly and stinky and just not want to do anything yeah i had sometimes usually i had weekends off unless we we the company i worked for we kind of rotated being on call for the weekend but you know generally i was off on the weekends and we'd go do stuff as a family we'd go to the zoo we'd go to the park we'd go to the museums we'd go you know, do family stuff you know what i mean picnics and whatever and so that's what i'm saying it wasn't bad but man i was miserable bro i was like i can't i i couldn't stand my life man i was still i was still trying to do i was i still had my company so i was still trying to do like like side gigs on the weekends i'd go mix live at, at, at a club on the weekend or something some a band might hire me to 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 go to uh the, I'd, sometimes i'd even take days off work and go you know on a little three-day jaunt to the east coast or something and do some work for a band that knew you know they'd hire me for that you know so i, I mean i was still kind of doing that you know what i mean so it was i don't know but i was still really unhappy and, and the, the moment came the moment the defining moment that changed for for that for me and this was was the the corporate thing getting in my way you know um uh, look i was I, I thought i was good at what i did um i was usually acknowledged for doing a good job and 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 you know it, it was a corporate gig so every every six months we'd have that performance review and have to go sit in front the uh you know have to go sit in front the 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 supervisor and he hey you're doing a great job everybody likes you you're you're, you're you know you're doing good and here's a Here's a 3.5% cost of living raise to get you through the next year. Okay, cool, man. So, you know, the one year I go in and, and I'm sitting in, in the performance review and, and the supervisor, same supervisor, same job, same everything, you know, and he's telling me, he says, man, you're you're one of the best technicians we have in Southern California, bro. You 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 just, you know, you, you're, uh, you're always on time. You're always doing the thing. You're always going above and beyond it. You're, you know, you're one of the best we got. Unfortunately, you're one of the highest paid technicians in Southern California as well. So unfortunately this year, there's no raise for you. And I was like, hold up. What do you mean? No raise, bro. I mean, you just said I'm doing an excellent job. You just said I'm the best technician you have in Southern California. Here's an idea. Why don't you make me the training supervisor and I can train the other guys in the department how to be a better technician in Southern California. Oh, here's another idea. Why don't you put me in sales? Because I know this stuff backwards and forwards. I could sell this stuff. I can, th Then I got a commission. Then I got a little incentive to make more money because I could sell more. The more I sell, the more I make, right? That's how commissions work. I'm going to sell the crap out of you stuff. Oh, I can't. You already got sale. Okay, cool. How about I take your job and you move up in the company? I'll be you. And no, no, you don't. You, you're not. You, you're not planning on. Okay, well, here's my two week notice. Seriously, I mean, I was I was angry, man. I, I, maybe maybe I shouldn't have been that angry, but I literally wrote on the back of the. You know, you're supposed to sign the the thing when they do your performance review. I literally turned the paper over and, and gave him my two week notice on the back of that. And I quit. And my wife was pissed, bro. I mean, yeah, because it's scary going freelance after having a, a, you know, a job because you've been safe. And you that's the key word, man. Safe. You've been safe. So after having that, um, yeah, my wife was she was scared. But I, I understand. But but. But yeah, I made it work. That was 22 years ago today. This this year, 22 years ago. And I ain't look back, man. That's exactly what I'm saying. You know what I mean? I've made more money in in I've made more money in a week than I used to make in a month at that other place because I'm responsible. I'm the one that's responsible for the time that I put in. I'm the one that's responsible for the work that I do. So my point is if you like it safe, get a job. If you like to be you and be responsible for you, you are responsible for making your own money. Self-employment entrepreneur business owner freelance it's just you doing business as you so go do you be you and do that so you know i had some I had some notes i was gonna look at but i totally blew that one all up already but 
I'm not one to read scripts and stuff like that. Y'all know that about me, man. So uh, hopefully you guys are getting something out of this, man, and, and understanding that, that look, uh, jobs are great, and if you need the stability, if you if you uh, if you like the safeness, you like the safety of a job, and 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 because it, it, it is scary to quit your day job and come out here and do this full time, do whatever. You could you could you could I don't know drive for Uber. You could uh, be, be work, you know, have your own construction business, and maybe go out and mow lawns or something, man. But you you're doing it for you, and you're gonna be the best lawn mower guy that there is because it's you doing it for you. You want your clients to refer you to other clients. So that's why you're doing it the best that you can do it. And for, I mean, in the studio game, okay, I'm in the studio game. And in the studio game, I'm being the best, doing the best and being the best and trying to have the best gear and trying to have the best vibe and trying to do the best job I can because I want my clients coming back and I want my clients referring me to other clients so I can continue to build and continue to grow. You know, and then I teach. I teach as well. I teach a recording program. I teach a, you know, we, we, we teach how it works. We teach a, 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 a kind of a businessy program on how to how to do this for a business. How do you do this for your business? And I've got some students out there who are going, yeah, he taught me and I'm doing well. Yes, I have. And yes, I do. And yes, I will. You know, um, so again, I want y'all to go get the Go get the thing, man. Go get the uh, go get the, pro the get, go get it. I'm not even gonna read it. I was gonna read some of this stuff, but it's the pros and cons of employment versus freelance. Go see it and, and make your choice from there. Go to learnprorecording.com forward slash two zero nine. Download that. It's free. It, it, it ain't gonna cost you nothing. But so it it's gonna give you some ideas in case you don't know. In case you want to get rid of that programming that's in there and you wanna you wanna maybe go try it for yourself, man. Try it for a bit. See if it's gonna work. You know, and uh, one of the one of the worst things you can kind of do for, for for that too is give yourself a time limit. Don't give yourself a time. Do not put a time limit on it. Don't say, okay, well, if it doesn't work out for me in three months, I'm gonna go back to a job. No. What if three months and one day goes by and you could have had the big client, but then you stopped doing it because you went and got your job back? Don't do it. Don't put a time limit. Do, of course, don't not put a time limit, but don't you know don't put a specific date on it you know what i mean so but i think if you just go do it you're gonna get it done and that's how it worked for me and that's how it's worked for most of the people that i've that most of the people that i've coached in this area have gone on to 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 yeah it's scary and they're like oh it's scary i don't know if i can make it i was like yeah you, you, i'm sure you're gonna make it you're gonna be fine and when they get out there and they see it they're like oh it oh sorry they like oh crap it is not scary. It is cool. It I, I am making more money now than I was at my other job. Yes. And you're not only making more money, you're working less. And the work that you're doing is, for me, the work that I do, it's not work. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying what I really enjoy what I do. Sometimes, man, I'm sitting in a session and, and the, 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 the band's just on it. The, the vibe is, is happening. Everybody in the room, the producer and everybody in the room is just like, you could tell it's, it's a good day, you know? And, 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 and I'm there and I'm like, man, and then I'm going to get paid too? This is crazy. This is crazy to think that sometimes I'm sitting there doing that, that work and I'm going to get paid as well? Damn. That's, that's the way that you should think about your work is that you can't believe that somebody's going to pay you for doing something that you absolutely love to do. I mean, that's dude, that's the that's the greatest feeling ever, man. And that that happens pretty much every day here with what I do because I love what I do and 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 I do what I love. And that's the beauty of it, man. I mean, dude, 15 hours goes by and like I'm like my wife will call me sometimes late at night and go, "Hey, dude, you coming home today or what?" <laughs> Cuz I forget. I'm like, "Oh, crap, I forgot. Yeah, you're right. I should come home, huh?" So, yeah, I mean, that's just how it works. But that's some of us are built different. And this is what this is my whole point. That's the whole point of the publication today, man. Go grab it. It's the learnprorecording.com forward slash 209. Go get that. That's going to explain the, the, the pros and cons of what I'm talking about. And I, hopefully I haven't pissed too many people off today and that y'all still want to hang out with me next week. Hey, man, next week, we're going to be following along in this similar vibe. We got uh, next week, which is uh, 422, April 22nd. We're going to talk about the money tree. That grandma said there wasn't out there, but uh, not that I'm arguing with anybody's grandma, specifically mine. Uh, there is a money tree. 
I've seen it. I'm, 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 I can look at it right now. There's a money tree out there. I'm going to show you all where you, where, how to find your money tree and where it is, how to find it. I'm, more importantly, I'm going to show you how to pick the dollars off your money tree. It's pretty simple. But the problem is, and the, 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 the big thing about it is that you have to do it. No one else can see your money tree. No one else can pick the dollars off your money tree except you. And I'm going to share with you how you find your money tree and how you pick the dollars off your money tree. So definitely join me next week. Join me on the blog post this week. I don't know what it's going to be about, but it's always cool. The blog posts are always fun. But <laughs> I never, I don't plan stuff, man. I mean, like the, the blogs come out on Wednesday, like Tuesday night. I'm going, um, what do I do on the blog post? And then I go think up something and it's usually, it's usually pretty cool. I don't follow any kind of pattern on the blogs. I just do whatever might be going on in the studio or something like, oh, that might be cool to talk about. So that's that's what I do. Um, we do have some stuff coming up. I'm going to get we're going to get deeper. We're going to get back into the technical stuff here um, next month. The first part of May, we're going to start a, a post production series, which is going to be cool for our post production friends, um, because as a studio, don't it can't just be about music. We're going to talk a little bit more about that next week on the money tree. Can't be all just about music, man. Um, you need to open yourself up to other other income streams, if you will. There are a few which I'm going to discuss with you next week. So in the next couple of weeks, we're going to discuss more and more uh, different types of income streams that you can do at your studio. Even, even if your studio is in your bedroom, even if your studio is in your garage, doesn't matter. Even if you don't like people coming to your studio, you can still do things remotely. You can still do things online which we're going to talk about even more in the next few weeks so next uh the week after the money tree we're going to do a, a a new studio tour we haven't done one in a few years um and apparently you guys like seeing studios so i'm going to show you some i'm going to show you some of the new gear we've got some of the stuff we moved around some of the things we've um we've implemented in the last few years and that you might not have seen yet so i think studio tours are cool it kind of brings a new perspective to what we've got and you see the vibe and that kind of vibe that kind of thing. So go again, one more time, go grab the publication for today. But since I didn't talk to you about it, go look at it. Man, it's a simple PDF download. Uh, it's learnprorecording.com forward slash 209. Go get that. Enjoy it. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if there's something that you want to see that I haven't talked about or something that I'm not talking about or something that I did talk about that you don't want me to talk about, shoot me an email. Info at learnprorecording.com. I'm going to get up out of here, man. Um, have a great week and go forth and don't quit your day job just yet. Let's talk about your money tree and then maybe you can decide if this uh, this uh, quitting your day job thing is for you. So let me do that. I'll talk to you guys next week. See you on Wednesday. Don't forget about my Thursday lives. Um, you guys that are subscribed to me here on uh, on YouTube, every, every Thursday I go live just to answer questions, just to talk to you, be here for you. If you got any question about anything, um, there is some cool stuff I'm going to talk to you about this week. I found this, I found this really cool thing that I'm going to talk, I'm going to share with you this week. It's involving patch bays. If you guys, if you guys have any, uh, problems or questions or anything about patch bays, I found some really cool stuff that's going to help us out with patch bays and I'm excited about it. I haven't implemented it into mine yet, but I'm planning to do it this week. So that's why I'm going to talk to y'all about it on Thursday this week. We'll see you Thursday, usually at 11 a.m. Um, Unless something else pops up and I got to move it, I'll let you know. Um, get on my list. You get on my list by downloading the thing here at uh, learnproorecording.com forward slash 209. That will put you on my list. You get an email about the, the Thursday Lives. You get an email about the blog post. You get an email about, you get a couple of emails a week. Not a big deal. I'm not flooding you. I'm not trying to sell you nothing. I don't mind. So we will see you guys next week here where we talk about the money tree. I'll see you on Thursday. Donnie Beggar, LPR Sound Foundation. I am out. Peace. Have a great week.